Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar. Today we're diving into part two of our exciting Clayton Home series. If you caught part one, you know we've been working on a comprehensive solar system setup featuring rooftop panels and an 18K unit. If you missed it, you may wanna click the link here to catch that video first. If this is your first time here and you're eager to learn more about solar components or installing your own solar system, you're in the right place. Start by subscribing so you don't miss any of our future solar insights. For our returning solar enthusiast, great to have you back. Let's dive right in. As many of you know, the journey to solar efficiency isn't always smooth sailing. Last time, we had my friend David from EG4 Electronics here to walk through my system as a second set of eyes before it was time to call out the inspector. He pointed out some crucial areas that weren't code compliant, identified safety hazards, and offered valuable tips for a more cost-effective and efficient setup. Today, we're thrilled to have David and his team back. They're going to walk us through each issue step-by-step, step, showing us how to fix them and explaining the whys and hows behind each solution. David, so glad to have you and your team back. I'm excited and thankful that you're willing to allow all of us to learn from you. So David, it's all yours. All right, so we can take a look at the system. We know it's a lot different from what it was before. Uh, what we had changed is obviously, you know, we moved the batteries down. Uh, we made sure that we had studs anchored into the back of the wall before we put these batteries down because this is just a skirting. So we have studs back there holding the batteries up. We also shrunk everything a lot. So when we shrink everything, you know, we save money on wire, conduit, you know, all your normal necessities that you need to wire up a system. We also made everything a lot safer. We strapped everything, we made it look good. And I'm overall really proud of it. We moved this water spigot that was here. Uh, we kept that off uh, so, you know, we couldn't have any water around this electrical system that we have. But yeah, three feet away from the manhole, everything's safe, everything's up to code. So if you look at the system, we have our lockable visible disconnect. We have the pipes all nice and tidy into the ground, strapped up. We also have these pipes. All that's away, and this is straight up and down into our load panel. So yeah, we have all the pipes in the ground, as well as we have the pipes in the ground over here, strapped up 18 inches from the bottom of the panel, or where you come into the panel at. Uh, this is our pass-through panel. This is coming out of our disconnect. And this is our transfer switch that we're going to flip from grid or to solar on. So we also have our EMT ran up into our roof for our PV, protected. And we have all these chase dimples, rigid chase dimples into Myers hubs in order for them to, to be waterproof, be code compliant, get that nice tight connection that we want so there's no, no leakage or anything like that. We also have our rigid nipples here into a Myers hub to get that solid connection. Uh, so no leakage or anything like that. And we have our 18K PV. This is what's running the house right now. Uh, we have our two all-weather wall-mount batteries as well as our conduit box to make that full ESS system. It looks really nice. We also have a strap within 18 inches of the entrance of our pipe. And we no longer have those pipes free hanging, which if it was, this would be a non-walkway. But now that we have them in the ground, we can do what we want back here. As well as we have the pipe and the dirt on both sides of the, the system. From our lockable visible disconnect, we have an input into our main, main lugs of our main panel. It's a pass-through panel, so there's lugs on the top and bottom, also known as an RV panel. So we have this 100 amp breaker here feeding our grid input to our 18K. This is our overcurrent protection device. In order for us to feed back, we need to have one. If you look over here, we remember that we used to have a double lug. So this breaker is now protected, or these, these wires are now protected with this breaker instead of being landed in there and being free. So we have our transfer switch here. The top lugs are grid, bottom lugs are our solar or our 18K PV output, and our middle lugs is going to our load, our main panel. So you see here, this is the only point of bond that we're going to have in this entire system. In this panel is where the bond happens. So you see we have a separated neutral bus and a ground bus. So you can see how we have our Meyer subs connecting into all of our entrances into our box. We have a weatherproof MA now, as well as we're strapped. It's not going anywhere. Looks nice and clean all the way up. Shepherd silk on the bin. Looks good. So we take a look inside of our 18 kPV. We can see that we have all of our main lugs and battery lugs marked to spec. We also have consistency in the wire taping. Nice folded ends. Everything looks nice and tidy in case you need to trace anything back. 
And that's a wrap on part two of our Clayton Homes series. A huge thank you to David and his team from EG4 Electronics for their expertise and hands-on guidance. We've tackled each issue head on, making this solar system not only compliant, but also safer and more efficient for the long haul. Today's journey has been more than just about fixing problems. It's been a learning experience, showcasing the importance of attention to detail and the value of expert advice in solar installations. We hope this episode has been enlightening for you, whether you're fine tuning your solar system or just starting out on your solar journey. Remember, at Signature Solar, we believe in empowering you with knowledge and providing top-notch solutions for all your solar needs. Stay tuned for more content where we continue to explore the exciting world of solar. If you found this content helpful, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos, especially our third part in this series where we take you on a tour inside this Clayton home to show you just what our 18K and two wall mount power pros are powering. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone. See you next time.